Okay, uh, what you're seeing here is, I'm going to turn on the light on here. What you're seeing here is a, a three-quarter inch PVC pipe frame uh, joined by these four-way connectors. They're about, this, this screen is about 72 inches wide and about 70 inches high. The size of a typical shower uh, curtain, shower curtain uh, liner. What I did to reinforce the sides, I put in grommets at about every, I don't know, about six, seven inches or so. But first I laid down a strip on both sides of this kind of matte finish, kind of, kind of glossy matte um, uh, black duct tape. This plastic is too thin to support any kind of tension on these supporting uh, ropes here. So I went around all the way instead of, I thought I was going to be able to rely on the um, grommets at the top uh, but those proved to be very, um, very poor, and they pulled out right away. So I, I just sent the uh, entire one and a half, almost two inch wide, border uh, around the edge and put in grommets. That was with using a simple, I think they're like called number three grommets. Um, I believe they accept something like a quarter inch to um, I don't know three eighths inch rope. Right now I'm using, I think that was three, I think this is three sixteenths is what I'm using. And that, I just bought a 50 foot roll of, um, of uh, twine. It's like low tension, uh, nothing major, like five bucks or something. That's from Ace Hardware, probably overpaid. But I went all the way around it kind of like as a shoelace, all the way around because I was trying various things. And you'll notice in the corner here, there are some of these, I've got some nine inch, uh, these ball ties. Uh, maybe I got a better view of one of them. As you can see right here, this little ball tie, these are a total of nine inch. I bought a pack of 25 of those. And I was originally thinking I would um, use those in the grommets and then attach them along here. But because of that three-quarter inch tubing, uh, if you try to pull it too tight, you get too much bending of the, of the pipe. Uh, and that kind of leads to my first um, bit of advice, would be to move up from the three-quarter inch to something a little bit bigger. One inch, maybe one and a quarter. Uh, it's more expensive. All the, the connectors, such as these T connectors here, are more expensive, but it, um, it it would be a little bit sturdier where there would be less flex in the, in the frame, but it would be heavier. And the, the one thing I was going for is weight savings, and that's due to this the screen right now I've got it set up in my garage, and my intent is to show movies, uh, maybe as part of a uh, kind of a condominium-wide entertainment, you know, pick a night uh, a month and get together for a cookout, but also to provide a mobile uh, uh, frame or mobile uh, screen uh, for very, my various organizations that I belong to. You know, you go to a hotel, and granted you'll get s some fairly top-notch stuff, but the, the price of those, renting a video projector and a screen and the setup, I've seen it as high as three to five hundred dollars for them. You know, you can get a room for fairly cheap, but they'll get you on the accessories. So, what I was trying to do is come up with a portable version uh, where I could pull it down into um, uh, easily transportable sizes. And I chose uh, one. I was the limitation was the typical screen. Material. What I'm using is one of those frosted liners uh, for a shower, and for ten bucks, this particular one was 72 by 70 inches. So that kind of defined the overall 
um, uh, dimensions. But also, if I start trying to transport this, these top pieces, the top and the bottom, are a solid piece. And I did that to try to maintain as much of the integrity of that three-quarter inch PVC pipe that I got from Home Depot. Um, but it also, it's, it's really no longer than my, uh, than my, like my cross-country skis. I still have some of the old long ones. And those, those pipes will actually fit into the bag that I have. So the side pieces, I, uh, I did it uh, in sections because I wanted to be able to change the dimensions of the screen. Um, that if I was doing, say, let's say a, a widescreen movie, maybe I would create a screen uh, for, for just for that, and then I might want to change the dimensions of the, of the frame. Um, later on, I just decided that if I'm going to go through this, I'm just going to do one screen and then find ways to basically hide the portion of the screen that I don't want. Um, Plus, I, I, I did some design changes as I was doing this. Uh, I tried various things, different ways of connecting, different ways of, of increasing the, the height of this, of this overall screen. Because sometimes you want it lower if, if people are seated at tables. If you're looking at a big group, maybe you want to raise it up off the ground even more. And actually what this arrangement that I have now is... Um, I'm using I'm using these uh, DJ style uh, speaker stands or the the tripods. I, you've probably seen them in a um, in one of my earlier videos. I, I'm using these a lot because they're they're fairly stable, they're fairly lightweight, and they're adjustable. And what I did uh, these these are these oak clamps that you can buy for about five bucks, but they're with these. Uh, cheaper style uh, DJ st uh, speaker stands. The pipe is only like one and one and three eighths or something like that. So what I did was I bought these couple of these caps that transforms uh, the the one and a half or one and three eighths to a one and a half inch pipe, which is what these O clamps are sized at. Plus, it gives you it, it puts it at the top. It's easy to pull the frame on and off because it'll, it'll just drop down in here. And by adjusting not only the base, but also these, you can change the height. So I can bring this down to its current level, or I can put it up probably another eight, eight inches without doing anything else to the frame. But in those cases where I'm going to be doing something really, I need a really tall, I can actually just flip these, flip this around, or put in different sized pipes. I can put this one down here and that one up there and raise this point up in the air. And then I'm using just some of these bungee cord things to kind of stabilize the bottom. Um, and then for my, my pivot point, these clamps have a, it's a 10, number 10 metric uh, uh, bolt that comes out of it. And usually there's like a wing nut on it. And I was trying to do various things with some metal angular clamps and so on. But then I came upon this thing where maybe uh, I can utilize this without any kind of complicated um, brackets and stuff that one costs more money to buy, but also um, it's, it's a lot more putsy to, to put together. Remember, this is supposed to be easy to transport and, and things like that. So the solution I came upon was underneath this uh, three-quarter inch T is actually a barrel nut. It's about this, this long. And I screwed it on to the end. And because the, the bolt coming out of here only comes out maybe about halfway, it gave me the barrel nut was longer than that. So it gave me a, an area probably about four or five threads uh, at the end where I could buy one of these simple bolts uh, that would go in 
about, you know, so far or so. And it screws into the end of that and it gives me a nice secure attachment. Um, and again, I drilled a fairly large hole in the back here to accept the bolt. So that connection, that came out to be my epiphany, I, I, you could call it, on how to connect this because what I was noticing when I was trying other things was that trying to maintain tension, uh, even, even using this angle iron of about, I think there was 16 gauge, you would get a little bit of bend and it doesn't take much bend in the, uh, the tension of the screen to actually uh, cause it to not be very, very tight. And, and you want a tight screen so that you minimize the imperfections uh, because you know, you'll notice, I don't know if you can see it in here, but there are a few little, little ripples in here. But I figure for uh, the, the money, um, you really can't buy uh, a rear projection screen for, I would say, less than maybe uh, four or five hundred bucks. Uh, our ski club has a, a standard four by three freestanding aluminum uh, and steel. Um, it's a front and a rear projection screen and that one costs them about 800 bucks and it's pretty darn heavy so I decided to use these four-way now in every single corner and that was to give me a place where I could do various things and and one of them that I did was um, was to add a curtain rod because I think it finishes it off quite nicely these were these were like 12 bucks or something like that so yeah I, I, it probably cost me probably cost me 25 to 30 dollars for the screen material but these add-on things like three dollars and 75 cents for a set of 12 of these things for uh, hanging the curtains i bought two of those so that's about eight bucks these were about 12 dollars a piece from amazon um, I did that because they were they were black and they were fabric. I did not want any more um, plasticky stuff here. So they, they kind of drape really well. It helps hide um, some of the, the structure here. And the other thing that they actually have little magnets on them. So there's some steel down in the, uh, the legs of these stands. The rest of them are aluminum, but there's a couple of metal pieces on there. And they actually kind of stick to it. So. Not very great, but uh, it works works well. And as you can see here, I can pull it across, and it, it'll close up. These are full size um, uh, curtains, so they will do a total almost as wide as the screen when they're fully tensioned. But I wanted to leave some drapes in them, so I bought two of them. I'm uh, I'm thinking about having something up in here that will help hide this, uh, the top part of the screen, maybe down to about here. And I could put it here, maybe on some Velcro. And then I'm going to um, get something where I can take some fabric and probably put some strategically placed Velcro strips, you know, with the stuff with the, um, the glue on the back, and attach them here so that I can pull across a another black piece of fabric of some kind and to help to define the screen and the size I need and to hide some of the uh, the ties and everything else down here but it's it's actually worked out pretty well I um, compared to the $800 screen that our club has it um, it's not as bright it's there's a little bit of uh, imperfection in the of course, it was only ten bucks for the uh, the uh, shower curtain liner, but uh, given the the cost and the ability to uh, dismantle this, put it in a bag or two, and take it along, and for not a lot of money, I think this was a worthwhile project. 